Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. I am Deuce Mess. This is Farmer Deuce. If you're watching later on YouTube, I appreciate you very much. Share the channel around. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Hashtag Farm Sim will suffice. Just help out the algorithm. I appreciate it. Bob coming in with 52 months of sub support here on Twitch. 52 months is ridiculous, sir. I appreciate you, buddy. Hearts and plungers and golden TP all around. Crystal, how's it going, Bob? Hope you're doing well today, buddy. Good to see y'all. Uh, I'm on FSN first because I got soybeans to sell. I did not get it done this morning. I was uh, doing a bunch of recording and editing and stuff like that. So uh, I got a bunch of recording done yesterday. I wanted to edit some of it. I recorded some more today. So didn't get, uh, didn't quite get to it today. But I figure we can start with this, and then we'll hop over on the community server and see what's going on over there. It's been two weeks since I've been on there, so uh, there's no telling what has changed. But we're going to find out here just shortly, uh, as soon as I get done selling for soybeans. So there is a modded trailer in here that holds 8,000 liters, and it's cheaper than anything else that holds 8,000 liters. It's the little pull behind for the TLX truck. Uh, I didn't realize it was on here. It's fairly unrealistic that this thing holds 8,000 liters. So I'm actually surprised that Hans let it fly. Uh, most of the stuff on here is, is realistic, uh, some sort of realism in some way, but uh, hey, you know, we're, we're gonna take it. 8,000 liters it is. Um, uh, it cost me $352 to lease it. So it was pretty cheap and it holds 8,000 liters. Everything else I could pick did not hold this much, so. Uh, and if I'm looking, if I looked at the uh, prices right, it might be easier to sell at the, um, I don't think we can sell directly at the FSN stuff, can we? I, can't, I don't remember. I don't think we can. I think we have to sell on the map somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let me uh, throw that up there real quick. Let's check. Yeah, so we're getting 12. Last year, the high was 1224. Right now, we can get 1256 at Bubba Gump's Farmer's Market. We're going to tag place. Bubba Gump Farmer Market's down at the other end of the map, so I guess we'll just be running down the other end of the map. I don't see why not. Uh, we got to make three trips with 8,000 liters. We'll make two full trips and then a partial. Uh, I say a partial, I mean just another thousand dollars probably, but it all, every single bit of it matters. I promise. It all matters. We're not going to be planting again until next year, because uh, I have noticed that double cropping is going to be near impossible the way this is laid out, uh, unless I time it just right. And I missed my, my window to plant, so uh, yeah, look at that. 8,000 liters in this bad boy, heck yeah. So to double crop, we would need to plant uh, here, right, in the fall. So we might still plant. Yeah, we might still plant because we're planting oats. We'll plant uh, oats in September. So that's, uh, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I'll need to plant oats on Sunday, this coming Sunday, so that they're ready exactly on this day, right? And that means soybeans... I won't be able to plant till here, and they won't be ready to harvest until here. But, um, yeah, there's just no good way to double crop, is there? I mean, if I plant soybeans here, and they're ready to harvest here, that still puts me here planting soybeans again the next year. So, there's no there's no good way to make this work for double cropping on this, on this setup, on this map. Uh, now on... Uh, Farm Sim 19 on uh, Midwest Horizon, the double double cropping was fairly easy, the way it was laid out. There's just no good way to make that happen on this map. Uh, so I guess I'll just do what I can. If I can get crop in the ground, I'll get crop in the ground. If not, I won't. You know, I don't know what else to do with it. But uh, either way, whatever, whatever. Uh, so yeah, just selling soybeans on the FSN today. Not a whole lot else going on. Uh, we're not going to be spraying weeds or planting or doing anything for that matter. Um, 
I, I'm, I keep looking and just peeking in on, on the auctions to see if anything pops up. Uh, and hopefully one of these days we'll get to buy some land this next hours. I would love to have another piece of land. That way when we do lease equipment, we can get double the amount of work done for the same cost or slightly more cost, but not like a releasing of something. Uh, having just slightly more land would, would increase our profitability uh, by double, which would be great. Uh, or more, actually, because one, if one field pays for our leased equipment, then two fields, one field would be all profit, one field would pay for the leased equipment, that would help pay the loan off faster, and that's what we need. I didn't really consider how far it was going to be down here. Uh, it is all the way down... Uh, next to Billy's place. <laughs> That's all the way. Is that Billy? Uh, Schlafer. It's all the way down next to Schlafer's place. Where is the other place we can sell at? Because it might be closer, and it's only like a dollar difference. The Highway Producers. Where is that at? That's up top. That actually might be better for us. I think we'll do that next. Uh, we'll go to this one, and then we'll go to Highway Producers. That's just across the map. And we'll do that one next. But for right now, we'll head on down to Bubba Gump. Whatever it was. Something. Not sure. Bubba Gump something or others. There's Billy's place. I think, or is that Indy? I don't I don't know where everybody's farms are, I'm not gonna lie. Uh Billy Enterprises. Oh crap. That's not good. There we go. Uh I think that's Billy's. Billy is the pink team no that's not billy that's orange well whose is that oh that's that's fuzzy peach farms that would be indian that's who that would be all right where was this bubba gump bubba gump farm market right up here on the left okay yeah, and I guess it probably would have been faster to go down and hang a left than it would be go all the way around because at least that was kind of a straight shot. This one made us loop way around the map there. Uh, but that's okay. We'll go back up that way. Yeah, we'll go back up that direction. And then we'll just go across the top over there to sell because, I mean, it's a dollar difference even though the price is dropping slightly. It's still going to be more cost effective to go over there time-wise for the other two trips. So... Is this it? That's where I'm supposed to be unloading here? Yeah, that's it. All right. There we go. Making some good money. We should make about nine grand out of this load. Hopefully. Ten thousand fifty-six dollars, and we got one more load of that, so that's twenty grand. I said we were going to make about eighteen. I just went on the low side, uh, so we're going to make about twenty-one thousand dollars off of this. Uh, it's going to be really nice, actually. It should be really good. That's a really good amount of money uh, for no more field than we've got. That's solid. It took us what eleven thousand to lease everything say 12,000 because of the trailer so we've made about eight grand off of this too pretty good pretty good what's up voltage how's it going good to see you but yeah for uh for everybody watching back on youtube you're only gonna see this today um, so it'll be a short video for you on this one, and then, uh, tomorrow, I think, how am I going to split this up? I don't know how I'm going to split this up. Let's see, Mondays comes out on Thursday, Tuesdays comes out on Friday, this is Tuesdays. So, uh, yeah, you'll just get another video later today, somewhere around 2 p.m. Uh, Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll just get another. You get the other half of this. It's on uh, Dairyland. You'll get it around 2 p.m. today. That's how I'll split it up. 
But yeah, so today we're just uh, basically riding around Hobo Hollow. Check it out. Uh, and selling, selling soybeans. Uh, so I found some other farming channels too that I, I've, I've kind of enjoyed watching. One guy bought a... Um, so they had a little John Deere tractor, but he bought a... Uh, what are they called? The side mowers, the old side mowers with the with the bar on it. What's it called? The bar mower. Uh, he bought one of those for like three hundred bucks, and borrowed his brother's trailer. But he bought a baler for fairly cheap too, an old square baler for like six hundred bucks. And he had a couple. He had like five or six acres on his dad's property that wasn't doing nothing. So he bought him a bought him a mower and a baler, and an old rake for like two hundred bucks. And uh, ended up making like. Fourteen hundred dollars or something off the field, so he paid for his purchases and still made a profit, which is pretty good. You know, some old equipment now. He had to work on it and stuff. Had probably had to put a few parts on, but um, yeah, he still made like five five hundred bucks in profit, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool to see the kid to do. You know, I, I don't know how old he was, but I'm gonna say at the at the oldest he was probably twenty two, maybe. But I'm gonna say he's probably younger than that. Uh, so it's cool. See uh, see some some new entrepreneurs in the farming business even today coming out and trying to make their own make their own way but uh pretty neat apparently also he bought 50 acres of land to to farm uh but he wanted to do something with that grass and uh that's what he ended up doing with it so pretty cool and i was wrong i thought we were gonna have a thousand left i was doing the maths wrong um i thought we only had seventeen thousand. we had nineteen thousand. A few, a, a few extra. It'll be about a half a load, which will be alright. Uh, but yeah, farming channel is really neat. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but <laughs> I subscribed to it, so when I see another video of his, I'll check it out. But yeah, it was pretty dang interesting watching him uh, figure out the mower and then kind of work with the old square baler stuff, the small bales, you know. down the road I got to plug my side panel back in and we'll do that again in a minute uh, but yeah Hobo Hollow is a nice map uh, I'm just I'm really just waiting on two specific pieces of land maybe three and we talked about this last time uh either 1752 or 26 to pop up because those are the ones i can i can reasonably afford right now having the amount of loan i've already got out but having a couple extra pieces of land or one extra piece of land to work would be fantastic where is this place at i'm not tagged anymore oh it's not tagged anymore dang what happened uh let's see tag place yeah over here okay it's the same place we took it before, I think. We took the canola over here, I think. You love this map? Yeah, Hobo Hollow, it's a nice looking map, dude. Uh, I really haven't I really haven't done a whole lot driving around, but just what I've driven so far, uh, I like the way it's laid out, honestly. It's really nice. It's a really nice map. Uh, and also, if I had the money to buy one of these bigger fields, I would probably do it because we don't have to plant the whole thing, right? We don't have to plant the whole thing. We can, but we don't have to. We can plant half the field. We can plant a quarter of the field. We can split the field up if we want to and plant different sections in different places. I really like Tia's little place right here. This is great. But yeah, I, I think that's... I think just getting one more piece of piece of land the same size we got, maybe slightly bigger or slightly smaller, either one is fine. I don't mind at all. Well, 50, 12, 13, 12, 55. Yeah, this is this is fine. I mean, Bubba Gumps is offering three more dollars per thousand, but you know, was that like fifteen more bucks we'd have we'd have made there? So, whatever. 
You ended up uninstalling and reinstalling? Did you get your aggravation to work? Or is this still aggravating you? <laughs> oh, there's the FSN cell point right there. Okay. Yeah, so if I needed if I needed to use that cell point, the other day it was the highest. If I needed to use that cell point, I could use that one, I guess. I didn't know exactly where it was, so it's good to know. I see it now. It works now? Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, I wonder what was causing the issue, because it seems like you're not the only one that's had that problem. So, I don't know, man. Seems kind of odd. Seems kind of odd. But yeah, I really do think um, getting these soybeans in, is, yeah, I mean, this is this is a, a good chunk of money for us right here. So, uh, 20,000 20, so far, we're going to be around 23,000, 24,000, something like that. So, that's a pretty decent chunk of money um, off the soybeans. I'm pretty happy about it. The canola definitely pays the least because I don't get bales off of it. And oats pay just as much as canola, maybe slightly more. So canola is definitely the worst, but it works out better for our crop rotation to do canola. So the next thing we're doing is oats again. And then we'll go back to, because uh, uh, we just did soybeans, right? We did canola, then we did soybeans. So the next thing will be oats and then soybeans again. So we got oats to go. Uh, I think that's what I said. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was oats, canola, soybean. Oh, it's going to be I'll have to look and see on my crop rotation to make sure before I take off today. You lost all your saves, you get to redo all that? Man, that would suck if you were in the middle of like a, a real deep playthrough, you know? You could have kept your save files, Bob. Mods list, save files. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was... Maybe that's what was throwing it off. But yeah, I'd like to have this field right here. Nice and flat, you know. I mean, this one would be fine. It's the same hill as this one, so. Uh, this field over here would be okay, too. Thirty-four hundred left. One more trip. I know it seems silly to make this trip, but... For me, it matters, because that's like four extra grand right there. Yeah, for me, that matters. So, you're just redoing it and not fighting with it? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Sometimes it's nice, though. You get a fresh start. Charlotte, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Doing good, just on some dairy land. Heck yeah. Yeah, dairy land's also a great map. Uh, and if you guys want to play dairy land, by the way, if you're watching this, you're not catching the dairy land series, uh, hop in Discord, follow the welcome message, find the farm sim roll, give yourself it, uh, the farm sim roll, and then jump down into farm sim channels. FS22 MP info, you can find it all there. Uh, also, if you need a server, first link below. Trotto. It's an affiliate link. We do get the the uh, multiplayer server for free for FarmSim, or for whatever I choose to put it for, but I put it for FarmSim uh, from Nitrato for being a partner. But the link is an affiliate link. 
Uh, and I'll make a small commission if you pick up a server using my link to get there. I'm not actually paid to promote it, um, but for being a partner and uh, link placements and whatnot, we get the server for free. So I do have to point that out. That's the reason you probably saw the uh, contains product placement in the top left uh, on YouTube. And I don't know where it pops up on Twitch, probably the same place, but that's why you see it is because we get that server uh, for free for being a partner of Nitrado. And because it is free, I have to point it out uh, by using that product placement tag. I just don't always specify exactly what the product placement is, but it's Nitrado. Uh, and I'm a proud partner of them. Thank, uh, thank, thanks to Nitrado very much for being a partner for years now. Uh, I'm also a Nexus partner, and uh, Nexus is, is not, there's nothing free, but I do have a Nexus link and a store where you can buy Steam keys, uh, and I would not promote it unless it was a safe, effective way. I use Nexus to pick up new games if I can. If I know they're on there, I'll go find a random Nexus partner and use their link, uh, use their store page so that I can uh, support somebody else too. It's, uh, Steam keys are the same price. It gives you a Steam key. You just go log it in on Steam and you're good. But the uh, creators make uh, a small commission off of every Steam key purchased from Nexus. So. Yeah. Mega Millions up to 1.58 billion. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I feel like I need to tell Ms. Deuce to go pick up some tickets. They don't draw again until tomorrow night, right? I may need to go pick some up tomorrow. I guess we don't need the trailer. I probably should have just returned it from there. Save me some money. As long as I don't click over the hour mark, we should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll get this returned. We'll check our crop rotation real quick. And uh, I think that was my my turn to the store. I'm still getting used to where all this stuff is. I'm not on here all the time. I'm only in here, only only on here about every 10 days or so. So gotta keep up with where I'm at. Planting and rolling field 35. Nice. All right, well, our soybeans are sold. I think that's the most money we've had. Uh, in a while right there, so that's good. It's a good deal. Uh, return. Okay. Get back over to the farm, get parked up, and we'll check everything else. Let all these shaders load up in first-person view here. Probably going to be a little bit, uh finicky for a minute, I would assume, anyway. I like the sounds. You can actually hear stuff rattling around. Let's fill 35, the big one or something. Do I remember how many cows we had a couple weeks ago? Yeah, we had like, what, uh, 6,400, 6,500, something like that. Isn't that right?
How in the world? You screwed up that bad. Like, I'm sitting there looking at the pole and I ran straight into it. Ridiculous. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's check out our dollar situation. Let's plan some crop rotation here. Work plan. Oh, did it get pulled? I think the crop rotation thing got pulled. It did. Okay. That's right. It was a, There was a bug or something causing it not to work right. Well, let's check our monies out anyway. Uh, so we leased for 382. We've been spending right about 1000 a day. Uh, 189 on property maintenance and 766 on loan cost. We made 24000 a day. So we're going to pay back 5000 of that. Uh, and hopefully it drops our payment down a little more, 766. So hopefully it drops it down to like 740 or something. I don't know. Uh, anything's good. Anything's good, man. Eh, let's go ahead and pay. Let's go ahead and pay one more. I mean, we're gonna need to lease some equipment, so I don't want to spend too much paying loans back. But um, yeah, there we go. So 25,000 is our balance now. We're down to 220,000, which leaves me um, 200 and. Was it 280,000? Is that right? That I can use to buy land. So that would be great if we could just max our loan out and buy some land. I'd love to have this field right here. Land area is 6.92. The actual field is 5.89. So, uh, and it pretty much touches both sides. Um, I mean, there might be a little bit here we could plow up, but I mean, I probably wouldn't bother. It's just not enough to worry about. Yeah, there's a little bit on the edge there we can plow up, but I wouldn't even bother with it. There's, there's really no point. Uh, so that one or that one would be great. Uh, these are cheap enough. 124000 for that one and one hundred twelve for that one. Let me check real quick and see if anything is on uh, the auction right now. Go check it out real quick and see. There is uh, an upcoming auction and filled. Um, yeah, in field. Was it this one right here? Yes, yeah, that one right there. So that one is an upcoming auction starting at 1.156. And the actual cost of it is one million five thousand. The starting bid for this one is one point one five six, so one million one hundred fifty-six thousand. So even these up here, if they say one hundred twelve, they're probably going to start at one hundred fifty, uh, which is quite a big difference when you're broke. So uh, this area right here wouldn't be bad to have. It's a ten-acre lot, but you're going to pay for it though. One hundred seventy-four thousand is probably going to start at two hundred. And I've got 280 I could bid and just use the in-game loan. Uh, any Either one of these would be good. Because uh, I could afford them. Possibly. And uh, it would really drastically cut down on the amount that I'm um, using to lease with no with with not with very limited profit margins, I guess. Uh, so that would be good. But either way, uh, that's gonna do it for this segment of the stream so if you're live with me just hang out a minute if you're watching later on youtube i appreciate you for hanging out for selling some soybeans kind of a short one but uh yeah look for the uh, dairyland forex video to be out later this afternoon it'll be out uh, in just a few hours if you're watching this when it comes out uh, if not then the video is already out so go watch it too uh, but this is fsn farming simulator network if you want to join up just click the link down below in the description and uh, go sign up, get whitelisted, play on a uh, a network of over 380, oh, probably over 400 servers uh, between FarmSim 19 and FarmSim uh, 23. Uh, is it 23? FarmSim 22? FarmSim 22. FarmSim 22, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you, it's a it's a multiplayer. It's all through the it's all through the website. Uh, it's pretty realistic, so be ready to grind. Uh, it plays in one time speed all the time. Why is it in half time right now? Oh, now it's in one time. Is it is it auto updating? I guess because nobody else is on. Maybe it's auto updating time. I don't know. I just looked up there to see and it was at 0.5, which is strange. 
but it runs in real time. Uh, there's th four different types of servers you can choose from. Uh, link down below. Go check it out. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, folks.